What's up, everybody? This is Chuck It's with Simply Vegas, your Las Vegas realtor. So today we are going to be taking a tour of this beautiful home up in this golf course community, Anthem Country Club in the city of Henderson. We are uh, pretty much elevated, as you can see. There is the Las Vegas Strip. Uh, this is a guard gated uh, community. Now this is a gated community within a guard gated community. So this beautiful home we are looking at today, the asking price is two million one hundred ninety nine thousand nine hundred and ninety dollars. This property was actually built in two thousand and one. The square footage on this home is seven thousand four hundred fifty eight square feet. A total lot size of twenty two thousand two hundred and sixteen square feet. It features a five bedroom a den, a loft, and a total of seven baths. So as we can see here, the grass is nice and mature, which is really nice. There's the golf course, the tee box. Right there is the gate right there. So we have a total of four garage, okay? As you can see, we have some stamped concrete, which is really nice. This home is really well maintained as you can look by the vegetation. Beautiful home. So we have a side access here to the back. Beautiful stonework. I mean, look at this. Look how gorgeous that is. It's like a palace. Here is your two car garage on this side. Now, this doesn't have access to the home on this side. This is more of a storage. Here's your entry door here, I believe. Now, on this side, this two car garage will actually have access to the home. beautiful iron doors as you can see we have pebble flooring which is really nice coming on and look at this look how dramatic this is guys boom I mean just the stair rails alone just coming up look at this Show you guys the iron door here. These doors are really heavy and solid. Also, what I like about the door is that you have hinges here. Let me show you. You have a hinge here, right? And you have a hinge here as well, which allows you to swing this open, but I can't swing it open. Ooh, that kind of hurt my fingers, but you guys get the drift. You actually open this up so that way you can get a breeze to come on in. Well, let me just show you guys the flooring. We have diamond cut travertine tile 24 by 24. And it transitions down to three steps into a wood flooring to the main living area. Look how gorgeous this fireplace is. Beautiful coffered ceilings. You have a 40 foot ceiling. Look at all that. Windows right there. Beautiful, right? We have a beautiful quartz bar area. You have custom cabinets. You have an osmosis, which is really nice. And also a brand new wine chiller. 
Let me take it from another angle here. This is like the best part of the home. Okay. You have a orange peel texture. Home has been completely uh, refurbished, painted, fresh paint. Look at this. You have a nice eight inch baseboard, straight edge. Well, I just gotta show this to you guys again. It's just beautiful, beautiful fireplace, okay? That is a gas fireplace. This home has central vac, also an alarm. All the doors are actually solid doors. No doors are insulated. Here's your coat closet. And we have all brush nickel um, hardware. Here we're coming into one of the rooms here. What's nice about this home is that it is actually facing a west, so majority of the sun is going to be on the other side. Look at the window, the pool. Also, we have the golf course on both sides of this house as well. We have eight foot doors. This is the walk-in closet for this bedroom. You have nice plush carpets, really great padding. Uh, looks like we have a intercom system here. This door right here will actually take you uh, to the backyard, but we're not gonna go to the backyard yet. Definitely one of the best features of this home. I would say the, oh right there's the attic access and your return line for your AC unit. Uh, the ceilings, I'm gonna say they're about 15 feet. So we're going to come down here. Oh, I wanted to show you this real quick. Here's your uh, central vac. Basically, you lift this up. Then what you do is you take the end of that vacuum, plug it into the wall. Then it sucks it into the system out in the garage, and you collect all the trash into the garage. Here's your alarm system, security system, all that stuff, uh, cable, Wi-Fi, connections, all right here so this would be technically your utility room now what we're going to do is come into the master now look at the arch of this master as we come in look how huge that is beautiful architectural design uh, this one is a 20 by 20 and this is some beautiful mahogany hardwood flooring now i just made that up i don't even know it's mahogany it just sounds cool <laughs> So you have your alarm system here, you have your uh, thermostat right there, and also you have your intercom system. So I take it you'll probably end up putting your living room right here or your TV on this side. So this is just a master retreat area. This bathroom is definitely to die for. So, as you can see, we actually transitioned from wood into porcelain tile 12 by 24. Man, take a look at this tub. Beautiful tub. Beautiful. Coming into the water closet, gives you nice elbow room, that's for sure. Take a look at the casings on the door, they're like three inch casings. The trims, look how nice that is. Look how clean that thing is, that's pretty sick. 
I love just those little attention to details. Coming into the closet, you have custom shelving. This is a good, probably 12 by 12, or maybe a little bit bigger. Now what this is, normally, when a home is built at this age, this should actually be the uh, the plumbing. Oh, nope, this is actually the iron board. Old school ironing board. Sometimes they'll actually have the plumbing when you see a box like this. Coming back out. Look how beautiful this bathroom is. Can't get enough of it. Look at this. This shower is to die for. So as we come into the shower, there is a six inch step up, which is fine. Look at the um, attention to detail here. Beautiful fixtures. Wow, I, I like this. Look at this transition right here where it elbows off. Then you have this um, silver uh, fixture that's just holding it up. That's just clean. We have a three inch quartz with an undermount sink. So basically we have a his and hers. These are actually um, upgraded cabinets. As you can see, we have dub dovetails and we have the track underneath. So they spent the time and the money into this home. This is actually quality work here. So, this must be his, and that must be hers. Okay. Off to the left here, we have the half bath. This looks like the original cabinets. Solid wood. Really nice. Looks like we have upgraded, same thing, quartz, undermount sink. I mean, look at the stonework on that, all that travertine right there. That is insane. Insane! On the membrane. Okay, so this is your formal dining. Check out this coffered ceiling here. With the lights inside. Coffered ceilings, look at that. Also, you got crown as well in the coffered ceilings. Now, the dining room here, this section is 22 by 15. And you do have the travertine tile, 24 by 24. You got the central vac right there, AC, a thermostat. This is just a little nook. Coming into the laundry area. Okay. It is a gas. You have an intercom in here as well. This should be another ironing board. When I build a custom home, I'm gonna actually have two laundry areas. Oh, look at that. We actually have a laundry chute. I'm gonna have one inside the master. And 
one inside the main. Now the sink. This looks like the original uh, countertops and the uh, sink. Alarm system, you have a nice solid door again. We're going to be coming into the two-car garage. Oh, I like this two-car garage. It is insulated. Okay. Also, it does have uh, carpet and does have texture. And you have an 8 inch baseboard. So, this is actually a huge two car garage. This takes us out to the basketball court. Should I show you guys the basketball court now? Nope, I'm not going to do that. Not going to do it. You have your attic access, okay? You have your power box here. Wait till you guys see the backyard of this thing. Okay, so now we're gonna head into the kitchen. This kitchen is so freaking crazy, I can't believe it. Look how beautiful this kitchen is. Look at this island. I'm gonna walk around this thing so that way you guys can really see how big this island is. You got your convection microwave look at the light fixture really nice huh got your pantry right there look at your six burner but most importantly look at this Look at the backsplash with the linings underneath the cabinets. All right. Nice undermount farmer sink. Love the fact that you can wash the dishes and watch the kids play. But take a look, look at this. You actually have 42 upper with a double stack and also a crown. Built-in sub-zero refrigerator. Also, ample storage too as well. Oh my God, this sounds like a commercial. Okay. Soft closing cabinets. You got hardwood. Look how big this living space is right here. This is unbelievable living space. Did I mention that this thing also has an elevator too as well? An elevator right here. The HOAs here are gonna be $540 quarterly, okay? There is a master plan of $389 quarterly. Taxes on here is $17,193 a year. Beautiful glass, glass, gas fireplace. Look at the stonework all the way up to the ceilings here. Show it to you guys one more time. Now this family room is 25 by 20, I believe, or actually a little bit bigger than that. So this one actually has a transition to some nice stone, not too sure what type of stone this is. This looks like the original cabinet. And you can tell based upon this bathroom that this was actually the original style probably of the home. However, this does have a pretty cool uh, charm to it. So we have a nice little bench seat. So I'm not too sure if they were going with the Tuscan um, theme here. We 
Now with this type of stone in the shower, it may be a little bit difficult to clean. Look at that trim, nice marble under mount sink. You know, I'm gonna just take you guys to the backyard already. So it looks like we have a nice intercom here from the outside. Also mentioned it does have surround sounds as well. Look how beautiful today is, guys. You can tell they actually resurfaced the pool deck. Jacuzzi. I mean, look at the trim around the door and the stonework. That's just crazy. Here is the uh, door to the other room here that we first entered. And here is the uh, door from the, main, uh, the center of the home or the entry of the home. Beautiful jacuzzi. Looks like it has been resurfaced, which is really nice. I mean, look at this golf course view right here. Look at this. Man, I'd just be teeing off from right here, hitting balls. <laughs> Uh-oh, dropping my piece of paper. Also, what I've noticed is that the stone work here is actually real stone. Look at this. This is real rock right here. Wow. Love this pool. Love the pool. With the diving board, you don't get homes with diving boards anymore because this pool is deep to actually dive. Look at this house. They did a good job of taking care of this home. Here's the pool pump. It is a heated pool, which is really nice. What's back here? Okay, so it's just like a little wall that runs up here. Okay. Uh, matter of fact, you know what? You can't even go back there. So we're going to hike up here real quick. Oh, get my shoes dirty. Just for you guys. Oh, look, we got a golf ball. Somebody just hit a golf ball in here. <laughs> So there was a front of the home right there that we initially walked through. Um, I'm sorry, we, we were going to walk through this gate here, but um, I figured I'd just show it to you right now. Okay, so look, we got one, two, three AC units here, right? It's a fourth AC unit. Look how clean the stucco is too on this thing. We got the traditional roof tile. Tile looks really nice, maintained. You know, this video does not do its justice. That balcony right there, I'm sure you get a beautiful view. Also, I'm keeping this golf ball. This thing is a title list. Got your grill.
One thing that I'm going to do when I build a custom home too is if I have a grill, I'm actually going to have a sink too as well. Oh, here's another golf ball. Let's see if I can make it from here, guys. If I make this into that hole, right? If I make this into this hole, I don't know. Let's just see if I could do it. Oh my God, I just made it. <laughs> All right, give me a thumbs up, guys, for that, because I just made that in a hole in one. And also, that was left-handed, too, as well. Oh, check out this basketball court. Oh, two more AC units here. I forget the uh, name of this product that you actually lay down. But look at that. Two more AC units. That's the uh, two-car garage. Remember, we opened that door. Let me just take you guys over here a little bit. Here's another access back out to the front. Okay. Man, this is a gorgeous home. Let me know in the comments below if you think this home is worth $295 a square feet or a square foot. I bet you at night, with all the lights here, this thing looks beautiful. Okay, so now we are gonna be making our way upstairs. There's actually two ways to go upstairs. You can go up this way, or you can go through the main entryway. I'm going to go back to the main entryway. Look how dramatic this is. Okay. Let's go up this way. Look at that. Look how beautiful that is. Whew, that burnt me out. Whew. Huffing and puffing. All right, so we are upstairs at a junior suite. Let's see what size this one is. This one, I believe it's a 15 by 15. They're actually all 15 by 15s. You have your built-in closet which is really nice plantation shutters this looks like the original vanity with the one inch granite travertine I think this is actually the original too as far as the travertine this is a three-quarter Shower, very beautiful. Also, it looks like you have your another attic access point here. This has a ceiling fan. We got eight foot doors, 10 foot ceilings on the second floor. Also, you have another attic access right there, too, as well. Here is your coat closet. Okay. 
thermostat, okay. Here is just storage, linen closet. This, this room, intercom, thermostat, which is really nice. Central back, cable outlets, also your phone jack too as well. This home is actually facing on the west side. Coming into bathroom, so this is actually another junior suite. Same type of cabinets. Three quarter shower. So this is actually the closet. I'll show you guys here how wide the closet is. Can't get enough of this. I mean, look at this. Beautiful chandelier. I mean, look at that. All right? Coming into another junior suite. This is actually a 15 by 15. You have your walk in closet. Custom shelving. Ceiling fan. This one has the intercom, two rocker switch, cable, and also your phone jack. Coming into the bathroom. Wow, this is almost like a master suite. <laughs> so it transitions to 24 by 24 travertine tile. This is a tub shower combo with a cast iron tub. Uh, it looks like an almond color. I do like the sliding glass. And we have your vanity. It looks like the original vanity. Now coming up to the loft area, I would say. This one is actually really huge. I don't know what you would actually do with this room. Now remember when I first came in from the backyard and I said there was two access points? Uh, you can go downstairs this way and come upstairs this way. So that's where it was, okay? Now this is gonna be a, a 30 by 25, I believe, in this room. Got your kitchenette, refrigerator. You could literally make this into a bedroom if you wanted to. For your parents, think about this. The elevator's right here. So if they're having a hard time walking up the stairs. But they could possibly get stuck in the elevator. Beautiful cast iron tub. I love cast iron tubs. And the reason why is because... If they get old, you can actually sand them down and refurbish the cast iron tub. Um, a couple years ago, uh, when, I, when I was buying investment properties, obviously you can't buy them now because the returns are just not there. But the homes that I would, I would buy would be in downtown Las Vegas. And, um, you know, homes are built in like 30s and 40s and they would use uh, cast iron. And when we used to rehab the property, instead of ripping out the tub, we would just sand it, resurface it for 200 bucks and reglaze it. Walk in closet. Okay. Yeah, I would definitely probably make this into a bedroom. That's what I would do.
Let me know in the comments below if that's what you would do. Uh, these are actually 12 foot ceilings too, I believe. That's an eight, nine, actually 10, 10 foot ceilings. I gotta show you guys this balcony right here. Now, look how huge this balcony is. All right, show you guys the view here. If you're just tuning in for the first time, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Show you guys this right here. Cool, right? So we're coming down the stairs that we didn't come up, which will lead us into the living and also the kitchen area. We're about to hit 70,000 subscribers. I don't know if we looked at the pantry yet. Here's your pantry. 70,000 subscribers. And all the people that have been supporting me, I really do appreciate it. You guys are such a team player and not haters. Get one more shot at this. Look at that. Oh my gosh. It's crazy insane, right? I really do appreciate each and every one of you guys. I got more supporters than anything. People that want to see me win. You don't you don't get that that much. A lot of people always always want to hate for some reason. I don't know why. Look at it, the weather is uh looks like it's going to rain today. Uh, I just wanted to show you the house again one more time. Well, guys, let me know in, in the comments below what your thoughts are about this home, if it's worth the asking price. Also, if you want more detailed information on this home, go ahead and click the link below too as well. Other than that, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Chuck, it's Chris One with Simply Vegas. And have a blessed day.